Some homework you did overnight considering where you guys were yesterday, you must be really pleased to have got pole today. Yeah, and I was never that good with homework back in the day, so um, I leave that all up to the guys. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the driver, they do all the stuff. Well, how did the car feel today? Because it just looked like it had come alive. Um, yeah, we, we changed quite a few things, but also after FP2 we found out the car was rushed and um, a few things were not correctly set up, uh, but no no one's fault, it's just you know the, to try and get the car out. Uh, but from there on I think we still had a few things to improve um, and that's what we did and I think the car was in a much better window already in FP3 and from there on we tried to change a few more things and in qualifying it was good but it was very tight and you can see the dominance we had in Spa is not there anymore just yeah you can see how quickly it, it, it changes again when you go to a completely different track layout um, different downforce needs as well that uh, they are a lot closer Great turnout of your fans here today, but we saw a flare got thrown onto the track. Have you got a message for the fans? Yeah, well, don't do that. I mean, it's silly. It's not good for yourself because you will get thrown out, so you can't enjoy the weekend anymore. It's not good for us because it's, of course, unsafe if it doesn't, if, if they don't see it happening. Um, and uh, yeah, just, I mean, it's nice to, to, to light a flare, but just keep it to yourself. And of course, again, to a certain limit, it's nice to have flares. Uh, but I think everything was taken care of very quickly, but of course for tomorrow, keep them in your hands.